I immediately knew when he started walking, I'm like, oh, this is going to be trouble. Yeah. And I am not in any mood. Yeah, for and it. I was also like, man, I'm just here for ice cream. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes up, he slowly walks up. My window's down because I've obviously just ordered. He invasively just puts both his arms. Yeah, like on leans my win- for, like leans, leans into on the my window. window and looks looks at me and Lee and just goes, I think that's fucking funny, boys. And I'm in shock. Yeah, I'm, I'm also I'm the fuck is going actually on? Actually confused. And I don't know what's happening. You're the same. Yeah, you're, I'm I think like you're like looking fuck? at your phone like I'm just don't want to I just don't yeah. want to be involved. No like, eye contact, not interested. So I'm looking at him and I'm like, what do you mean? And he's just like, you think that's fucking funny? And I don't I don't know. Mm. I waved. I, yeah. I, I have no idea what is going on. Yeah, genuinely confused. And he's just like you think it was something along the lines you think smart ass boys. Smart asses yeah. or something along that. And and next thing you know, he pretends to like swing at me in the car. Yeah. He like grabs both his hands away from my uh my door oh, yeah. and then slams them back on it really close to me. And I like jolt a bit. I go, what the fuck? Ladies and gentlemen, it is Morrick Holby to Eyes. We are back around every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 7 a.m. on Spotify and 4.30 p.m. on YouTube. Now, I want you guys to strap yourself in. We have got a story that is basically, I would like to think- Life-threatening. Oh, we- <laughs> <laughs> Let's not beat around the bush. It was, we could have died. I think now we look back, we can. it's one of those stories where we go, oh, I can laugh now, but still- we You can at- laugh on it, but I'm still not happy it happened. <laughs> oh, God, no. I, I look back and I go- that is something I'd like to erase from my Genuinely memory. Genuinely ruined our night. Oh, it, it like, ruined we my were, week. We were cloud 10. I, we'll set the scene. <laughs> Let's just set the scene for all the all listeners and viewers on Spotify and or YouTube. Now, look, Maybe on SoundCloud. Me and Lee, before we started getting into the pods, we, we loved to go to gym together. We did. And just, great passed on. And that's where we'd catch up on the week's stories. Yeah. Talk apps. Catch up. Tuck absolute match. Tuck up. What the fuck just came out of my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Donny over here from Old Thornbury. He's fucking he's gonna be a fat bitch. I just, <laughs> I just malfunctioned. Um, um, yeah, me and Lee would love to catch up, talk about everything that happened in the week. Maybe some girls, video yeah. games, definitely yeah. video games. Yeah, <laughs> girls in yeah. the video <laughs> games. Yeah, <laughs> GTA and, strip club. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, I saw you there again last night. I have no idea what you're talking about. Wasn't me. And, and would you know feel good from the serotonin? Hit a couple of new PBs, just feeling good and. After that, we'd get in the sauna. Oh, mate, the sauna, unreal. By the way, if anyone's been in a gym, have your workout and then jump in a or quickly jump in like a cold like shower, like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, then jump in a sauna. Make sure you have some water. Your phone's optional. Your phone can actually fucking overheat, so just be careful. Sit in there for like, oh, what did we try to do? I think maybe like- It used to be a 15 minutes. Yeah, minute. 15 minutes, give 10 or to take 15. and all that. Do that. Walk back out of the sauna. Have then like a nice little warm shower. Get ready. You will feel zen. If you don't feel zen, then you've done something wrong. You've mm. done one of those steps wrong because you should feel max relaxed. The only time I'll give you an out, and I'll, I'll definitely give you an out because this happened to me a few times, is when you get in the sauna and there is a talker in there that you don't well, want. Yeah. <laughs> I did forget the, the notorious talker. Oh, they just, the minute you sit down, you're, 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 oh. you're <laughs> straight away. It's going to be flashback. Yeah, you're genuinely like, <laughs> Yeah. How's the workout, boys? Doesn't have a towel either because they're like macho as. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you train? Oh fuck! I just wanna, I just wanna relax. Squats? I, did you see me squat? I was the guy grunting. I was the guy. Can't, with the oh, chains. trust me. I fucking know. I heard you. I fucking heard you. Yeah, still to this day, <laughs> <laughs> I still to this day don't understand when they would do squats and put chains on the on the end of the. Yeah, I don't get it. But the teach their own, I guess. I feel like it's just attention seeking. Uh, you have to. <laughs> you have to, man, especially at the gym that we were going to. Oh, so true. So, yeah, there would be a few times I'd get in and I'd be like, for fuck's sake, there's someone who's just going to talk and talk. And I think maybe one time I met someone in there that was actually very interesting. He had his own little phone repair um, little company where he, he pretty much worked two hours a day and then played golf and went to gym for the rest of it. And I'm like, fuck, you're kidding. Living. Literally. It was Matthew McConaughey, L-I-V-I-N-G. Just living, living man. You, you are, hmm, there's two ways to look at it. If you're someone who's trying to talk to anyone who are, anyone you don't know coming into a sauna, then you're either lonely 
<laughs> or you're just so happy with life, yeah, you just want to sh- spread the sunshine and just start talking to everyone. Yeah, have you ever had that? Live people, yeah. Have you ever had that when you're in such a good mood? You just start talking to people. Oh, like, man, you know, yeah, <laughs> no, I definitely have. Usually on a night out when you're just up and about. Yeah. But I am notorious to be that guy, bro, I fucking love you, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you so much. No, you, mate, I know. I know that I'm on shit, but, mate, you. You're just the best. You're just the best. So, mainly is in. Yeah. What do we mainly go? We go, hey. Five, ten. Yeah, we, we'd like to um, have a cheeky little McDonald's ice cream on the way yeah. home. Oh, Macca's Cones, just quickly, touching on that. If that isn't the greatest fucking ice cream, then I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm on board with you. Some people, they'll attack me and they'll be yeah. like, how dare... And I'll sit there and I'm like, people are paying 15, 16 bucks for Ben and Jerry. Yeah. For maybe yeah. seven For bites. like two scoops. <laughs> yeah. And look, I can make a whole podcast about the, the changing price of a cone. I mean, how the fuck did it go from 30 cents... To 50 cents to 70 cents. I think they're 80 cents now, man. Of I course think, they are. I think. Of course think. they are. Fuck, and can we also they're just, so greedy. They really <laughs> are, man. And it's not on. But not only that, for anyone that's been to HJ's, Hungry Jacks, I don't know what the fuck they've done to their ice cream, but despicable. Fucking it despicable. Like cardboard. I genuinely don't know what you have done. I don't know whether you're trying to be more milky or more creamy. <laughs> Whatever you are doing, stop it. Because it's not basics. fucking working. It's not. Oh, we've got storms. Yeah, but Mac is having Mick fucking flurry. Oh, I'm going to so say fuck you. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say something really controversial here, and I feel like a lot of people Ooh, won't agree. Hot take, Luke's hot takes. Hungry Jacks is the bottom of the fucking barrel when it comes to fast food. Their burgers, the burgers are not better at Hungry Jacks. Oh. I'd rather go to Red Rooster for a oh, burger. But see, I was about to say. So you're reckoning Red Rooster is above. I, look, Red Rooster... To be fair, I only got the chips, man. Plain and simple. Red Rooster are known for their chips. Yeah. Well, the chicken and gravy roll of thing that they have at times was pretty good. Not bad, but... But, again, you know, like, you're not really going to Red Rooster. I think Red Rooster, you had to be going there for their chips and the blue pop top as a kid. Like, there's no other oh, fucking reason why you were going to Red Rooster. The blue fucking pop top. I remember them. Look, the only burger that I've ever enjoyed, ever, ever, ever from Hungry Jack's is their... Um, they're Jack's Chicken Burger. My only one that I enjoy is that barbecue cheesy on their two dollar meal. Their yeah. loose change meal. That's a, that was always my go to. Yeah, don't like it. <laughs> I don't like any. Their che- they cheese the chips too. Yeah, their cheaper options are shocking. They're, I do like the fact that their medium chips like two bucks or something. Yeah, is which is pretty good. So that's pretty good. But mate, I have always hated every single Hungry Jack's burger I've ever got. Never liked. Is that it. though because did you get sick Hungry Jack's? I know, I know it's about my this story, but did you get sick Hungry Jack's though because when you were living close by, you just did the whole fucking shake and win like two. So now you're just like, you know mm. what? Fuck Hungry Jack's. For people that don't know what Lee's talking about, on the app they don't promote it as much anymore. But if you go to Hungry Jack's and you go to the app, you got to shake and win. And the shake and win prizes are now shocking. They're terrible. Really? Oh, they're because they were really like I would yeah. say really fucking good when we oh. were doing it. When I moved, I moved down. I had no fast food near me, and I didn't have my license. And when I moved down closer to, I was under a kilometer away from Hungry Jack's. What I would do is I would shake and win. Their shake and win, as long as it's under thirty bucks, fifty percent off. Yeah, fuck, it's good. Yeah, I would win that. I would sit in my bedroom. I'd be just be chilling. About oh, you get two shakes. Day cook a shake. Nah, didn't get it. Shake in. Oh, I got it. Walked Hungry Jacks. Yeah, Every fuck. time. And now, they're, now their prizes are dog, dog shit. shit. They're pretty much like you'll get maybe a dollar off oh. one of the burgers or something. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I don't like them anyway. Coke, but like, thanks. Yeah, some people would disagree, but I hate Hungry Jacks. I don't like them. But other than the Jack's Chicken Burger. Yep. And they're doing all right there. Okay. okay. I'll give them Done that. Something right. Anyway, so me and Lee are like, all right, we're going to go to Macca's. We're going to get a couple of cones. The night's just vibing. Why not get a yeah, couple of cones, you boys, in us? A couple of ice creams, a couple of cremes. <laughs> so I get in and order me two cremes. Sitting in my lovely Honda Civic. Yeah. Yep. And the great Honda Civic. The great yeah. Honda Civic. Keep in mind, we, I. Again, we're Cloud 10. Because also, I, we are. Kind of still a little bit wet in the way of we've we've yeah we're still close like after the sauna and, and everything yeah, we're like, not we are not we're not hundred percent dry. There's no way I would have gotten out of the car to go and order food. Yeah, no, not a chance. It, no no way. way. We're in that setting. Okay, yeah. I'm just sitting down and Karen. We're uh, genuinely just chilling, just chatting about how good the workout was. Yep. What are you going to do once you get home? Hey, are you going to jump on the PlayStation or do I just watch a show? Like what? What's it go? Like what are we doing? Yep. So, so and that's the vibe. That is the vibe. Car in front of us. I'm just hearing all no, this the cab the in cab. front of us. The cab in front of us. I'm hearing all this shouting, and I'm just like, "What's going on in that taxi?" And then I just see this this face pop up in the back seat. Look out the rearview, like just look out the back mirror. Yeah, 
the, the back window, sorry, and he just goes, who the fuck drives a Civic? Really aggressively, by really the way. Like, it's not like a, just a, who drives, who the fuck drives, like pure aggression. Like this guy had ha- hatred for Civics or something. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I'm like, I like the car, but c- keep in mind, I, so I have my hands on the wheel. All right. If anyone's yeah. watching on YouTube, just think of your normal car wheel. It's very easy to <laughs> e- easy to imagine. <laughs> I just release four fingers from that wheel and just do like a give him like oh, the give him like the like like hey yeah. hey it's me I I, I drive I a drive Civic. A Civic. <laughs> I would hate to imagine what all I would have done if I said fuck you if I was a smartass <laughs> if I flipped him off and I because I could have easily flipped yeah, him oh, off. Most he, I was in a jokey mood, so I could have easily flipped him off and be like Haha, fuck you. I just did a little wave, like, yeah, I, I drive a Civic. Fa- yeah. His face drops. Yeah, he went like full fucking Conor McGregor. Get, man. Gets out of the taxi. Big guy. Yeah, like big guy. Big, muscly guy. Gets out of the taxi. Does this strut, chest up, yeah. slow walk, <laughs> slow walk <laughs> over to us. Fucking. And I immediately knew when he started walking, I'm like, oh, this is going to be trouble. Yeah. And I am not in any mood. Yeah, for and it. I was also like, man, I'm just here for ice cream. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes up, he slow walks up. My window's down because I've obviously just ordered. He invasively just puts both his arms. Yeah, like on leans my win- for, like leans, leans into on the my window. window and looks looks at me and Lee and just goes, I think that's fucking funny, boys. And I'm in shock. Yeah, I'm, I'm also I'm the fuck is going actually on? actually confused. <laughs> And I don't know what's happening. You're the same. Yeah, you're, I'm I think like you're like looking fuck? at your phone like I'm just don't want to I just don't yeah. want to be involved. No like, eye contact, not interested. So I'm looking at him and I'm like, what do you mean? And he's just like, you think that's fucking funny? And I don't I don't know. Mm. I waved. I, yeah. I, I have no idea what is going on. Yeah, genuinely confused. And he's just like, You think there's something along the lines you think smart ass boys. Smart asses yeah. or something along that and and next thing you know, he pretends to like swing at me in the car. Yeah. He like grabs both his hands away from my uh my door oh, yeah. and then slams them back on it, really close to me. And I like jolt a bit. I go, what the fuck? And he laughs as in like, huh, spooked you, I'm the tough guy. I'm more Most like definitely. Dude, my night was I'm getting an ice cream yeah, with my best I'm friend. Sitting in, <laughs> sitting in <dessert. laughs> <laughs> what what is happening? I've I because I've never been in a proper fight. Yeah, I haven't. I do. I fight. Like I, I love Muay Thai. I love training. I've done a lot of boxing. I'm more than happy to step in the ring with anyone. Like I'll more than happy get in, have some fun. No fear with that. Yeah, I've never had a proper actual fight. Yeah, I'm not Bryce Hall. I don't street fight. Yeah, like, <laughs> forty under the belt. <laughs> so I'm confused. Also, I'm sitting in my fucking car getting some cramps. I'm sitting in my car, a little sweaty or wet from the yeah. sauna, like, not, <laughs> my hair's not done. Yeah. <laughs> the most important thing. So he does that, acting like the tough guy, mm. and we'll get back to this part too. His friend is, oh, his fucking fat hopeless. fucking friend is sitting outside the taxi like, oh, Damien, Damien, get back in. Nah, Damien, it's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth it, Damien. Get back Just in. Just get back in. The cab driver's lost as fuck as well. Like, <laughs> he's looking like, what the fuck am I doing? In my head, I'm like, why the fuck are your doors unlocked? Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is going to be the worst cab driver of all fucking time. Anyone in Melbourne, or I would like to think just anyone in the show, would know, if you're in a cab, lock the fucking doors, because otherwise people won't pay the fucking fare. Like, what the yeah. fuck are you doing? And this is the type of guy that would do that. Yeah, so. exactly. So... Mainly, sitting there, I'm confused as hell. I'm like, I'm not in no way at all. I've always, I've always remember this: pick your battles. People out there, they'll get in fights. They'll get in street fights. Two things. I looked at, it and went, "You're drunk, off your face. You're way bigger than me, mm. way musclier. I'm just gonna have a fucking sauna. If I get out of this car to fight you just because you tried to be threatening." What, do, what does that accomplish? Even if yeah. I fucking beat you, even if I get a lucky punch with someone is your size, what now? What happens if you fucking, your head smacks against the concrete? Exactly. What, all yeah. these things just running through your head and just like, it's not worth it anyway. Those type of people, though, those drunk ones who go out for a night out looking for a fight, Most doing all these things, they don't think like no, that. No, they're just there to have They just want to fight. Correct. They just want to fight. We've all seen You're it so before. Spot on. When they go out clubbing, they have the same group of mates too. Because tools, because they're all tools. yeah, they're all going to be wanting to have a fight. That's what they want. I actually know Genuinely someone just by someone who's like giving you a look. It's like fucking looking at me. It's like mate, 
Like, I'm trying to take a piss. She walked across. Like, where, yeah. Where, do you, where else? Where the fuck am I meant to look? Man, I, I actually have a friend. Oh. His brother went to jail because they got he got into a fight with another group of guys. Long story short, he hit him. Kid fell back, smacked his head on the concrete. He was in jail for, I think, I think it was 10 plus years. Fuck so he spent hell. 10 plus years because he got a really good shot in and the guy fell back, smacked his head on the concrete. Fuck. Life gone. No fucking thing. All that stuff runs through mine. There is no win. Yeah, there I'm, isn't. I'm not going to feel like a, a t- I'm not going to feel awesome if I'm walking around to my mates and be like, hey, this guy threatened me and I beat the shit out of him in Macca's car park. What? Yeah, no he shit. He would. Mac, yeah. He and Mac would. is of all places too. Like, I couldn't. What would In go, the drive through by the way. What would go through his mind? Because this is what I'm thinking, right? If I had a mate who was like this and he came through and he goes, hey, man, there's um, the other night I fucking was feeling a bit pissed. Saw this guy driving a Civic. Fucking said, who, who the fuck drives a Civic? He just looked at me. So I got out of the car, fucking dragged him out of the car, beat the shit out of him, left him bloody. I think he's probably, I don't know, he, he would have to be maybe 10 years younger than me. And then I beat the fuck out of his mate too. How good is that? What? Yeah, no shit. How are these people? Oh, these yeah, people are no fucking shit. morons. Sure your mate would be like, what the fuck are you doing? So we'll get into that because that's what like, I was sitting, I was like, your mate is a bigger pussy than yeah, you. Yeah, most definitely. Because out of everyone who can yeah, stop he's this, the one, it's you. Yeah, correct. So after that, he gets out the front and he starts looking at my number plate, reading out my number plate. Yeah, and saying it. And we're, again, like, what the fuck I is want this going to end. on? I'm also sitting there thinking, in this busy drive through we're now stuck behind you yeah. for another few minutes. What, Which is what's going to happen? No one at Maccas has fucking done anything about it. Mm-hmm. And all that. There's fucking obviously the cameras are on both our cars. Well, like after so after he read out my number plate, he goes to Lee's side of the car where the windows are. Lee is not giving him anything. Lee is on his phone, uh, genuinely shut like- down, not wanting to be a part of this. And I fucking blame you. I'm the same. I'm like, I don't want to. I think we even said to each other, just don't look at him. Yeah, just that's. I'm pretty sure that's what we just did say. Don't look. Don't at give him. him the time of day. Just don't even say a thing. So he goes around to Lee's side, starts yelling at Lee. It's like you want to get involved, do you? Lee obviously doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> said nothing. Again, punches. Yeah, fucking- punches the fucking window. By the way, and like, did that shock you? Like it did, but I th- in the sense of it shocked me because I'm like, I can't believe he's doing this too. This car, boy, at that stage, your car was still, like, relatively, like, new-ish. Like, I don't think it was, like, too old. No, it wasn't. As well. So, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, mm. this, this costs a lot. You're punching, like, someone's... It's not your property. Like, I was always raised, like, treat your own property. Like, I don't know. Like, treat others' property how you would treat your own. Like, mm. yeah, you have that, like, mutual respect sort of yep. thing. Like, that's just how... I, I'm like, the fuck is this guy? Like, who... Like, who the actual fuck are you trying to impress? Like, yeah. you are causing us... You look like a fucking dickhead. Yep. Like, what are you actually trying to achieve? Like, what's your end goal here? Yeah. There was... There like, was oh, like, don't get me wrong. Yeah, he fucking spooked me. Because I was like, wow, this guy's, like, actually, like, mad, mad. He like, and fight. we've done nothing. He wants to really fight us. And I was like, like I'm not... I don't want anything to do. No, there is fuck. no win in any way beating this guy. So, he gets back in the car. And around the turn of the drive through as he turns in... Then someone comes out, a Macca's employee. The kid would have been like 16. Yeah, like real okay. frail little dude. I'm so happy, so happy that he came out late. And the only reason is because this guy was so drunk off his head. He would have got here. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy tried to, in his 30s, tried to fuck with an, a 16-year-old. Mm, no, you're spot on. You're so, so spot I'm on. so lucky he came out later when the car was around the corner. I'm like, for fuck's sake. So... We get to the next window and then the girl there, she's like, are you guys okay? And we're like, it's fine. And I'm the entire time, me and you are just like, just don't say anything, head down, yeah. wait till the car goes off. Finally go off. Man, I remember sitting there, I'm like, should I feel less of a man because I didn't fight him? That's what that's what kept going through my mind. I'm sitting there, I'm like, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't fight him, but now, now I feel less like a man. And then I couldn't think of any other way mm. where I could leave that situation going, you bested him, even verbally. If I said something that was a yeah. smart ass comment to make him look like a dickhead, which he was, and he didn't seem smart in any way, he would have just tried to drag me out of the car. Yeah. So it was a fucking awful Yeah, experience. wind down your windows. Wind down your windows. Like, no. <laughs> Why the fuck would I wind down my I can see how angry you mm. are. I wind down the window, you're going to fucking gawk me. Like, I'm not fucking stupid. Like, man, so, I know what your intention is. So me and Lee are going to finish with this point. And I think this is a, an extremely important point to anyone out there. 
I am more mad to this day. That guy, trust me, that guy, I I know karma-wise, I know his life. I guarantee he's betted on so many things. He's lost his job. He has no money. He just seemed the, the type of guy. I think karma's real, and I think yeah, somehow he'll he, get what he he'll, he'll get, get what's his. Yeah, hundred percent. Sort of. But I am more frustrated and more angry the fact that his mate watched all this go on and didn't do a yeah, thing didn't about it. Didn't even attempt to stop him. He said a couple of things like, "Come on, mate, it's not worth yeah, it." But get he didn't back actually fucking like sort of not like necessarily manhandle, but he could have like at least fucking. Stepped in front of him or something, like, yeah. mate, what the fuck are you doing? Mate, I like, try to pull him away. You. Yeah, they haven't done a like, thing. So anyone out there, if you ever have a mate who's starting shit with people, just being an absolute dick, out of anyone who can stop that person... It's you. It's you. It's you. So, and and you're just as bad, if not worse, if you don't step in and stop it. I think, I think like, worse. I like, honestly because, think worse. Because at the end of the day... If they're going to listen to anyone, it's going to be you. And then if they choose not to listen to you but you tried, then, well, at the end of the day, the fate's in their own hands because at least you fucking tried. Man. Uh, after that, it's there's not – unfortunately, there's not much – if they still choose to be a fuckwit, then that's just, on them. Just be a good mate. And you don't have to – you don't have to – just just be a good fucking mate. Analyze the situation. If your friend's in the fucking wrong – Pull them up on it. Yeah, most it's definitely. So easily. And and if you if you notice they do the wrong thing over and over and over again, mate, life's short. There's yeah, fuck millions that. and me, millions of people out there. Fuck them off. Yeah. Because clearly they're just drama at the end of the day. And yeah. like, at, each to their own. But I don't, for fuck, man, I don't want to. Mate, 27, turning 27 this year, I've already wasted years with drama mates filled alone. I don't want to fucking waste any more time than what I already have, man. Life's Toxic way people. too fucking short for that shit. Well, that's way too short for that shit. And also, I'm a fucking adult now. I'm not in fucking high school. So mm. fuck that shit right off. I don't mm. fucking need that extra baggage. I'm sorry, but fuck that. No one needs to deal with that shit. Yeah, the people around you are very important. I'll um the one one thing I'll say before we go. Also, it's fucking hard because some people Okay, say they're driving past in a car with you with your mates and you say something like a smart ass comment to people Pass driving the other way. <laughs> Driving, like, yeah, bus wankers, things like that. Might be funny, like you're laughing with your mates. Man, sometimes you just get that wrong person. I Another Mac That's drive through I saw on YouTube, these guys, like, a really attractive girl walk past their car as they're um, about to order their drive through They just do the bit of the, the beep behind horn, the beep, beep, and like a couple of whistles out the car. Mate, this massive bikey dude, massive with a drink in his hand, gets out of his car, walks up, obviously his missus, Dude fucking opens up the car door and, like, puts his head in like, you're talking to my missus? You, you think that's funny? You think that's funny? Fucking clocks him. Just massive Fuck punch that. to the face. What do you do as fr- What do you do when you're dealing with someone who's a psychopath? Mm. What, do you, what do you actually no, do? exactly. You can't. You're so spot you're on. You're dealing with people who don't give a fuck about the punishment. Yeah, most definitely, Probably man. Probably don't give a fuck about if they gave you blood to the brain, things like that, with a punch. I, I would be terrified if I hit someone. I reckon oh, if I you could, how if do you, I got, how do you live with yourself, man? if I got into a street fight, right, and I hit someone, and I possibly knocked them out, if I saw them fall, if I saw the eyes go in the back of their, I'm not kidding. I think I would try to then catch them so yeah. they don't hit the ground. Terrifies me that kind of stuff. Yeah. People get injured. So I think easily. that's the thing. There's a difference between self defense. I don't know out, and then just being a complete fuckhead that's out four or five. That's, that's why this it's that's so why, different. That's why BJJ is the best martial arts out there by far. Because if someone's being an absolute dick, right, anyone can get a lucky punch in. Anyone, especially if you're drunk. Yeah, you can have good defense and you can beat the fuck out of someone if you know how to fight. But there's times when some people they're just throwing nonstop. They can land something, especially if they're a big guy. They really can. BJJ, you get them that get them to the ground. You can embarrass them, absolutely embarrass them, humiliate them in front of everyone. Obviously, if there's no one trying to jump in and then kick, you know, yeah, things like yeah. That. If, if it's, it's like a one on one, no fucking gang mentality bullshit. So if anyone's out there or if they ever think of a a martial art to start, I would always suggest BJJ, especially self defense wise, especially in fucking the world of 2022, man. I think BJJ is one of the best martial arts you can do. It's, um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening. That was the story. Just be a good mate. Yeah, don't be a fuck. Just weird. be a good mate. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Boom. Boom.